Hello everyone, I'm Sean, project lead here at Apocoplay. This is my second in a series of short videos to show some of the interesting strategies you can do with LTL. It's time to talk about one of the most visible aspects of LTL Horizons, the day-night cycle. It's the beginning of the turn here, and I'm choosing a unit to play. Now this is a standard Lautia Rush deck, all the cards of a violet sphere in the lower left. Now I could have a deck with nothing but tricks to keep at night, pack it with cards that are huge at night and useless during the day and dawn, a strategy called Endless Night, but this is more of a balanced rush. However, even a deck like this can really benefit from a Lycanthrope or two for surging. Let's start by taking a look at this guy. As you can see, he's got zero attack, and a number of skills that only work at night. The first skill gives him an attack bonus at night. Then there's an auto skill. Auto skills trigger automatically on a unit's turn, like a free action. The last thing is a close skill. This is a skill that triggers whenever a card is taken below zero hit points. This Lycanthrope's close skill gives him a free hit, free attack, and heals him. However, it costs a spell point, so it's not free, and you can only do it so many times. But as you can imagine, a skill that heals him when he goes below zero HP makes him rather tough to kill. So at night he'll be attacking multiple times and be almost impossible to kill, clearly worth the trouble to get out at night. While we're thinking of playing a Lycanthrope, the first thing to do is check the time. It's dawn, the background has a pale yellow light, and we can see the dial here has a little sun rising over a horizon. Now, after we choose a card, it goes over here to the set area for one turn. This gives the enemy a chance to see what's coming, and also replaces the kind of summoning sickness effects you see in some games. It's dawn now, so our Lycanthropes will be hanging out here on the sidelines for the daytime and coming out into the field for the turn after, which is night. Play a unit at dawn, and it will reach the field at night. And there he is, ready to rip things up. So night effects are all about timing. Now, there's a lot more to timing than keeping your eye on the time of day when playing cards. You have to plan ahead. For example, you're going to want to keep track of spell points, any spell points you might be spending on skills or revival, to make sure you have enough to play your Lycanthrope when the time comes. You may also want to make sure your field is set up ahead of time, so you don't have to spend a dawn turn playing a more fundamental unit to hold field. Now here's the counterplay. If I was up against a rushy violet deck like this, I would be watching the time too. I would want to force the enemy to spend his or her dawn turn on something other than a lycanthrope. For example, I might use card removal on the enemy's main blocker, forcing him or her to play a new tank instead. I might disrupt the order he or she has planned to play units through resource denial by not killing any sack units or any unexpected move that might throw off the enemy's timing. Here's the counter counterplay. Rush decks and LTL are either about theme, like Endless Night mentioned above, card subtype buffing, or whatever theme you like, or they are all about flexibility. All your units are relatively cheap so you can play what you need when you need it. You have to build a deck like this with a backup plan if you can't time your Lycanthrope right. Maybe a single copy of Succubus, a unit who turns at night the moment you reveal her to the enemy. Or maybe another aggressive unit that serves the same purpose, letting me hold off on Lycanthropes until the next time Dawn comes around. Okay, that's all for this video. Keep an eye out for my next one. I'm sure you'll find it interesting.